Question number 11. The Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, Mr Speaker, this question is to the Minister for Primary Industries. Is he able to explain all his actions as Minister of Primary Industries? If so, how? The Honourable Nathan Guy. Mr Speaker, Happy New Year to you and to the Parliament. An answer to the question, yes, and by speaking. <laughs> Supplementary question, the Right mm. Honourable Winston Peters. The you and Mackenzie look alike. Uh, Minister, why, having received a letter from me on 16 January inviting him as Minister to visit drought-affected farms in Northern, did he play silly games when on 25 January at 3.57pm in the afternoon pretended to invite me to come the next morning to a farm in Northern, and yet he and his staff did everything not to advise where, when and at what time the morning meeting would be held up north? The Honourable Nathan Guy. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, I don't need to be invited by that member to go and visit drought-stricken farms in Northland. I go and visit them on my own accord. My office did alert the member that I was coming to Northland to meet farmers, but it's commonly known up there that the member is hardly ever in his electorate. Order. Minister. Order. Well, Minister, I have a point of order, the right honourable. And that's not a point of order; it's a question. Oh, supplementary question. Minister, it? supplementary question, the right honourable. What in the minister's past incompetent behaviour, as the minister of this portfolio and as the minister of racing, gives him the idea he can play these stupid games by claiming to invite another member of parliament to come to a meeting and refuse to give any details as to where the meeting was held, and then claim that he's familiar with what's going on up north? Well, Nathan well Guy. Mr Speaker, as I understand it, my office alerted the member that I was coming to Northland, and as I say, I stand by my comments. I don't need to be invited by that member to visit Northland. I take my advice from farmers on the ground, Rural Support Trust and my officials. And that's why, in the last couple of weeks, I've visited Northland twice, and I have declared a medium-scale adverse event in terms of drought to support those farmers to get through that, and we will support those farmers. Any questions? Supplementary question. Right Honourable Winston Peters. Why, when he was asked on the 16th of January to come to the north and examine the serious situation which would constitute a drought, did he stoop to such stupid, venal political games as to tell the media and the National Party candidate about the meeting and yet think he could refuse to tell me that place, date and time all right, if that's the venal politics you like, that's fine by me. But when we get the power, you're gone. And he'll be gone. The, the question's been asked and now can be addressed by the Minister. Have order. Order. Mr Speaker, I haven't finished. Order. <laughs> order. Order. The member has finished because I've cut him off. Supplementary questions are meant to be concise. The Honourable Nathan Guy. Oh, Mr Speaker, I think this questioning is a circus and I've already addressed it. 